Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you all so much for being here with your lovely positive energy and your support. Um, thank you for joining me here today with another monthly Zodiac reading. Today we'll be looking at the um, reading for Virgo. And this is all Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Um, and we're looking at your month ahead for August 2021. So um, we are just trying to get some inspiration and motivation for the month ahead. So if you're having a really good couple of months so far, then fantastic. We're trying to keep that momentum going with um, lots of positive energy and um, just some information about how we can keep moving forward in that, those good positive vibes. And for anyone that's perhaps feeling just um, a little bit stuck or a little bit frustrated and you're wanting to just have some clarity on what's coming ahead for you, you and what you'll be focusing your energies towards um, um, the next coming weeks and months um, and then this will just be some good messages hopefully of positive guidance and inspiration and motivation just to get us through the next few weeks so thank you all as always for being here and joining me for these readings so Virgo let's go ahead and choose your charms we'll select your charms for the month and we're going to pop you into the mixing cup here Okay, and then let's pick some charms so that we can see what messages are coming out for you for this month's reading. Okay, I think that was a good mix there. So this is the noisy part. Um, I'm just going to give them a shake before I cast them. So you may want to temporarily turn down your volume for a moment. more than I thought that's interesting so yeah let's take a closer look at what's going on for you Virgo so I'm going to zoom in now and then we'll get a close-up look of everything that's going on here for the month of August okay so here we are Virgo let's get on into your reading quickly first I just want to explain to anybody that's new here or anybody that wanted to know how I'm going to be reading the board for this charm casting um, what I will be doing is um, anywhere in the center of the board here I look at what is um, taking up your uh, main focus and requiring more of your attention here right in the center of the board but we also will be reading um, the left hand side of the board as any obstacles or challenges or experiences that you've been coming through in the recent past so in the in the last few weeks and months and on the right hand side of the board we'll be looking at your near future and what you'll perhaps be focusing on or working working towards in the near future. At the top of the board here, this will be your thoughts and feelings, anything that's um, on your mind, anything that's at the forefront of your mind that's requiring um, or taking up a little bit of the attention um, of your attention there up here in your thoughts and feelings and then down below at the bottom of the board I'll be reading that as any possible obstacles or challenges that are showing up for you for the month. So, an interesting one, Virgo. Um, I'm going to start, usually I would find you up here. So here you are, but I'm not going to start there right now. I'm gonna work my way across. So um, I'm actually going to start over here. So literally in the recent weeks and months, um, the only charm we're seeing here is the spring. And I really love this energy of the spring because it's literally just about um, a movement forward. So I'm seeing that perhaps 
that you've been taking the steps to really push yourself forward, to spring forward. It's also about taking action. So I'm seeing that perhaps that's what you've been doing, Virgo. You've been taking that leap. You've been pushing yourself forward, leaping forward and um, making changes that are necessary to um, get that momentum going, to keep you pushing forward and, um, and achieving and succeeding. So definitely a really really good energy there so that's all we're seeing down here in the your recent energies and your um your recent weeks and months is that you've been just focusing on really pushing yourself forward and taking that leap ahead so that's a great energy to start with so that's that's the energy you're coming from from the recent weeks and months and then moving across here um, I'm going to go into your main area of focus here at the moment. So with all of that energy that you've been putting into leaping forward and making changes, um, we're now seeing the turtle here. So this little turtle represents um, just the need to go with the flow, just to relax and take your time, just to pace yourself. Um, I love that it has the sun here on the back, um, which is a really optimistic um, sorry a really sort of hopeful and optimistic energy so lots of happiness and joy there so just to enjoy yourself take your time um, and really just to get into that energy of just going with the flow especially if you've been really focusing a lot to really um, prepare yourself forward into taking action um, it may be just requiring you to just now kind of slow things down a little bit and just take your time um, and pace yourself and go with the flow there so I really love that reminder there with the turtle um, and it's a similar message down here with the teapot I love the teapot and this is representing the need for rest and relaxation so again similar to slowing that energy down there with the turtle we're also seeing that there's a need for you to just take some time put your feet up have a cup of tea do whatever it is that you like to do to just really bring about that feeling of just rest and relaxation spending time catching up with loved ones and um, just having a good old cup of tea and put your feet up so um just getting a lovely energy here with the teapot and the turtle just reminding you to just kind of slow it down a little bit there for the month of august virgo so a really lovely energy with that and then we're getting into the very central focus here for you and what i'm seeing here is an aries zodiac charm so that could be an Aries coming in for some of you um, in some aspect of your life. Um, it could be that perhaps you have Aries in your birth chart. So you're maybe being called to pay particular attention to this message and whatever that means for you. But it's the Aries Zodiac charm there. We also have here the Sheriff's Badge. And the sheriff's badge for me can represent a couple of different things. It can um, literally mean for some of you an interaction with the law. That's nothing too negative, but it could be perhaps that you've been um, going through some legal issues and um, that that's showing up for you in the center of your month of August here. Um, and for others, it could just be a reminder to um to have trust and honesty as well to surround yourself with trust and honesty so that could be being truthful with yourself or just being truthful with, uh, with others or requiring or looking for um the truth from others as well and it can um for me it really does represent just throwing out the rule book and rewriting your own laws so it's about just finding your um Find like being truthful with yourself and finding your voice and, um, you know, going against what is required of you or what um, what is expected of you or what you think um, you're supposed to be doing in life. But it's just about forgetting all of that and just throwing away the rule book and just going, Do you know what, I'm going to write my own rules and I'm going to live by my own laws and, um, you know, within the law obviously like don't don't go rogue and just go completely crazy and obviously keeping within the law but just rewriting your own rules about what um, where you want to go in life what success is for you what happiness is for you um, just creating um, the life for yourself that's really written 
for yourself and not based on what others are expecting. So um, I hope that makes sense for some of you. As I said, it literally could be um, that there's a legal issue going on for some of you, but that obviously may not resonate with everyone. But um, for me, I'm really getting the energy of just the need to um, perhaps just forget about, um, you know, what is expected of us in life but just to really be honest with ourselves and just ask ourselves what is it that we want and um where can we go in our lives like rewrite the book rewrite your own um rules to live by there virgo so hopefully that makes sense to you and um, it's interesting because we also have it very closely linked here with the duck and this lovely little duck charm for me is a symbol of um trusting your intuition and confidence as well finding your confidence and believing in yourself because the duck i always say um can literally exist on water and land and through air so it can be adaptable and it's very intuitive on the environment that it lives in so um, it's just about finding your confidence trusting your intuition to um, as i was saying to maybe follow your own laws to follow your own rules and um and really believe in yourself there really gain your confidence in order to do that so that's easier said than done i know but um sometimes we spend so much time pleasing others yes sometimes we do um spend a lot of time um doing what we can to help others and please others and to to listen to um what society expects of us but we're definitely being reminded of here that um maybe it's just time to really look at what it is that actually you want to do virgo the direction that you want your life to move in and um how you can go about creating that so that's definitely taking some of your focus for the month here and then just going over here we also have the wooden peg and the wooden peg literally is a symbol of um, hanging in there so it's just a reminder to stick with it stick with whatever changes you're making and whatever is going on for you here um, just to hang on in there and keep going with it and to just um, you know it's you're, you're sticking it out. This is a month of just kind of really just sticking with it and um, seeing it through to the end there. And then going down into your challenges and obstacles area here, just slightly out of your focus for the month here, we also have an initial, which is the letter T. So as I always say, um, I read initials just possibly as an initial of a person, a place, an experience or opportunity or even an occupation for some of you. Um, but it really does mean something different for everyone. So however that resonates for you, or it may not at all, um, that's the letter T there for some of you that could be significant. Um, so as I was saying, moving into your challenges and obstacles area here. So we have the fairy door which I love because the fairy door literally um, does mean opening new doors, so new opportunities and beginnings. Um, but it can for some also mean closing the door on any old um, negative situations or um, moving on from old environments, old circumstances that, no, that no longer serve you a, a good purpose. So, um, and I'm seeing that here with the bow as well, because the bow is representative of tying up loose ends. So um, it can also be a union. So it can also be um, representative to some of, for some of you of um, oops, coming together um, and there being um, a union for some of you, but is as it's in your challenges and areas i'm seeing it more as the need to wrap something up so to to finalize something and bring something to an end um especially because it's on the fairy door here so perhaps with it being in the challenges it could be that in order to be able to move forward in order to be able to open up the doors to these new beginnings and opportunities I'm seeing that perhaps you're needing to tie up those loose ends and close the door on um, a, a past experience or a past negative situation. Just that it feels like this perhaps is holding you back. So it may be that there's just something for some of you that really needs to be let go of and we need to just close that 
chapter um, until we can start our new beginning and open up those new doors and opportunities. So um, as I said, for some of you, it could be coming together with someone um, that does, unity is really also what the, the ribbon can represent there, the bow. I'm really getting a very strong sense that it's actually more to do with just um, tying things up and just um, completing something and bring it to an end so that we can let go of it and then move on so um, that's definitely coming up here as a challenge for some of you and we also do have in the challenges area is the wooden button and the wooden button is just a, a really simple plain wooden button that to me represents um, the need for simplicity a make do and mend kind of um, mindset so with it being in the challenges and obstacles here um, I am a Virgo Sun um, zodiac sign, so I um, definitely have a tendency to overthink things and to overcomplicate things. So I don't know if that's the same for all of you, um, and especially because I'm seeing a lot going on up here in the mind with the thoughts and feelings as well. So I can definitely, definitely um, resonate with that because I am a classic overthinker. And I really do complicate things that don't need to be complicated. Obviously, that may not be everyone, but with the um, wooden button showing up here in the challenges and obstacles, I'm just seeing a need for simplicity. So it may be that um, you could be overcomplicating something and we need to just be reminded to keep something simple because otherwise um, we're creating too many um, obstacles and, and challenges for ourselves when it really just might need to be kept very simple um, that make do amend kind of attitude that perhaps um, we really might have everything that we already need and um, we're maybe just keeping ourselves in that um, challenge area because what we um, perhaps need to do is we're overthinking it we just need to try and maybe keep things a lot more simple um, and clear our mind a little bit more so um, that's definitely coming up as a challenge for some of you there um, which I can definitely resonate with um, and we also have the anchor here which is in your challenges and obstacles slightly coming up more here into your main focus but the um, the anchor literally for me represents that anchoring um, s sort of like standing your ground creating that stability um, so with it being in the challenges here it's perhaps that whatever you've been working towards here when you took that action to move forward perhaps it's that you're wanting to create that environment for yourself where you're really um, feeling secure and stable and that's sort of coming almost up in your challenge area where perhaps you're um, struggling to achieve that but um, I really feel that it's because it's very closely linked to the wooden button here I really feel that that it's not unattainable um, you're definitely working towards creating um, some more security and stability for yourself um, but I definitely think that perhaps with the wooden button reminding you here in your challenges that um, it's just to keep it simple so maybe it's possible for some of you that um, You've been overcomplicating the situation and that may be, um, with so much going on in your mind, it may be creating just a little bit of instability in your mind. Um, so it's possible that you just need to really stand your ground to um, just just focus on creating that stability and that security around you um, and just by not overcomplicating the situation so uh, for some reason we are seeing that as a challenge but obviously it's not completely unobtainable you know we definitely you're definitely taking action to work towards um, bringing in that stability there and that security but it's just perhaps um, become a bit challenging um, perhaps looking like it may be unobtainable but absolutely it can be done um but again virgo try not to just overthink it or overcomplicate it um that's definitely i know speaking from personal experience that's something i do all the time um because it's definitely definitely achievable so just keep working at it there virgo um you also do have did i read the initial okay i'm gonna I think I did this already, didn't I? Sorry, I've forgotten. But for some reason, <laughs> this is the letter T. I don't know if I read that for you already. Sorry, I got, look what I did. I overcomplicated it and I got it stuck in my head. 
Okay, well, there's the letter T. I can't, I'm pretty sure I've read that for you already. Please bear with me, Virgo. Sorry. I got stuck in my own thoughts there, didn't I? Okay, so um, that's all your focus and your challenges for the month ahead. Working more up to this area of your thoughts and feelings, we're seeing a lot going on here. There's lots of good things. Um, so we're seeing the sunflower here, which is representative of absolute happiness and joy and optimism as well. So definitely for some of you, um, that's a really lovely positive um, positive mindset to be in um, of just absolute happiness and joy and being really optimistic as well. So I love that that's something that some of you are really focusing on, um, just being really hopeful and optimistic for the future and for the changes that are coming in. So I love that that's there on your mind, Virgo. We also have that very closely connected here to the Libra Zodiac Charm. So for some of you, um, it could be that this happiness and this optimism is directly linked to a Libra. It could be a Libra that you already have in your life, um, or it could be somebody coming in for you, somebody new. Um, some of you may have Libra in your birth chart as well. Um, but we also have the great big shiny sparkly word love which is just brilliant i absolutely love it it's love who can't love love um so i absolutely um think that's a really beautiful positive energy that we're seeing here closely connected here with that libra so for some of you that may be that you're being very optimistic and hopeful about a new relationship so it could be that you're um starting a new relationship with a libra um, zodiac sign and that's a very um you're very optimistic and happy it's bringing in lots of love and lots of happiness for you so i love that that's going on in your thoughts and feelings there virgo because that's bringing you lots of joy there which is fantastic um and for others it um as i said it may just be a libra that is already in your life or coming into your life it doesn't necessarily have to be from a dating or romantic point of view but it could just be um a Libra that's bringing in really um, lots of positivity and joy and um, surrounding you with lots of love. So that's a really fantastic message there. And we do slightly have a little bit um, of caution. It's just the green heart. This is my little green heart that for me represents um, a slight sign of envy. It's really more about comparison. So it's just a reminder um, not to be comparing yourself so this is representing a feeling of envy so for some of you what you may be thinking about is um, perhaps just again you have it very closely linked to the Libra here so it's just a reminder not to get into that mindset of um, being envious of others or comparing yourself to others so I know it's the classic phrase um, the grass is always greener on the other side so it may look like other people are um, really happy and achieving and succeeding and doing the things that perhaps you want to be doing um, and then you may be comparing yourself to, to others thinking that perhaps they're um, they're becoming more successful than you or they're getting um, the things that you wish you had so um, that may not be for everyone but it's just as it's up here in your thoughts it's just maybe what's going on in your mind um, that perhaps you're starting to compare yourself to others so it's just a gentle reminder there not to get stuck in that negative um, envious sort of energy um, and definitely comparison doesn't serve any of us any favors so um you know, be happy and um, celebrate in other people's successes for sure, but definitely um, don't use it as a comparison to um, your situation because everybody's circumstances are different. We're all working towards different goals and we're all achieving them at different stages of our lives. So um, definitely try not to, particularly if it's surrounded by love um, and relationships, um, that's really a negative energy to get stuck in with that kind of envy and jealousy. So just a gentle reminder not to get into that mindset there, Virgo. Um, and over here, we also have lots of thoughts about abundance going on as well. So the pumpkin is 
a representation of the harvest. So it's about reaping your rewards. So it's about putting in the hard work and effort. And you're just starting to think about how do you gain those rewards? How, you know, when are you going to start seeing um, the rewards for all the hard work and effort that you've been putting in? So as we were saying here, you've really taken a leap. You've really sprung forward and um, have been working towards your goals. And um, the pumpkin represents you've been thinking about um, really bringing in that abundance now. So maybe you've just been sort of um, just thinking about when when you're going to be gaining or starting to see some results or gaining those rewards for your efforts. So that's definitely going on in your mind there. And it's all quite closely linked with, we have another letter here with the initial L. And that was sitting on top of, we have two charms here, and that was on the toadstool and the zodiac charm of Capricorn. And so the toadstool is representative of a couple of different things. It, it really does mean rapid growth. Um, so when when you're making any changes, so any thoughts or ideas that are coming in, um, they could be coming in very quickly. Um, and also it's representative of good fortune as well. So, which I love because you have it closely connected here to the pumpkin, which is all about abundance as well. So when um, you're thinking about those changes that you've been making and the abundance that's coming in, um, these are definitely some very quick changes, um, lots of growth and um, some good fortune coming in for you there. So that's all what's going on in your mind. Um, and that's really what I see that you're focusing on, trying to bring in that abundance and really focus on that good fortune. And you're wanting it to um, really come through quite quickly as well. So that's definitely something that's been going through your mind. And as I said, you have the letter L and you do also have that linked to a Capricorn as well so for some of you the l could be an initial of a person a place experience opportunity or occupation that is linked somehow to a capricorn for some of you if you have capricorn in your chart it could also mean that you need to pay particular attention to this message here so definitely what's going on your mind in your mind is bringing in um, that abundance and that good fortune here with the toadstool. So um, that's definitely what I see you're wanting to work towards. Um, it's also where you are Virgo. So you're up here in your mind. So in your thoughts and your feelings. So as we were saying here with the wooden button, um, it's about um, you've been perhaps stuck in your mind um, or caught up in your thoughts and your feelings um, and that's perhaps been distracting you a little bit or, or taking a little bit of your focus away from other things that you um, want to be working towards so here you are up here in your mind here um, and that's where we're just perhaps getting that challenge of trying not to over complicate things or overthink things as well Virgo so but lots of really good things you know you are focusing on on some really lovely positive things here with lots of happiness and lots of love and you're really working on bringing in that abundance as well so they're really really good positive things to be thinking about at least and um, we also have another initial this is the letter b okay so just another quick reminder an initial of a person a place experience opportunity or occupation even so that will be something different for everyone and the initials may not may not resonate with you at all um so just going over here this is still in your thoughts and feelings this is working more towards what's coming up and that is a pisces energy and that's the Pisces Zodiac charm there. And then we have it very, very closely linked. It looks like a Z, but it actually is my charm for the letter N. Okay, so you have a Pisces energy and that was quite closely um, sitting next to the letter N as well. So again, that could be um, the name of a person, place, experience, opportunity, whatever that may resonate for you. Um, this could be a Pisces coming in for you in the near future, um, or it could be that there'll be um, a Pisces, a significant thought around a Pisces that will be coming up in the near future for some of you. Um, but that's definitely something that's going on in your mind there, somebody that you're thinking about with a Pisces energy there. Um, 
again as i said you could also have pisces in your chart as well um so yeah it's i think i managed to just double check the bottom here so um yeah i think i managed to get all of the charms i keep looking at it thinking did i overlook anybody did i miss anything so you have a few um different zodiac energies coming in for you quite a few so you have that aries here in the center of your focus so whatever that may relate to it's very closely linked with the rest and relaxation there but it's also um sitting right underneath that um that sheriff's badge and the duck which was representative of intuition and confidence and the sheriff's badge was also about rewriting your laws um, and creating your own rules or for some of you a legal issue which may be possibly linked to an airy sign um, but overall, some really, really good positive things. You're having some really good positive thoughts, which I love, Virgo. So there's lots of positivity, lots of really good vibes and good energy going on in your mind there. Um, but definitely a need to um, focus your energies on getting um, out of the situation where you're feeling stuck, um, not being able to create that stability because um, just remember not to overcomplicate things because there there are opportunities to open new doors and create those new beginnings, but um, which will bring in that stability for you and that security that you're looking for, Virgo. But it's just um, that you may need to tie up some loose ends there and, and let go of some things that aren't working for you. Um, but we've got just some really lovely, happy, positive energy, lots of going with the flow. It's interesting because actually over here in your near future, there isn't really anything to focus on. It may be that you haven't quite decided um, the direction that you're going in and you're just kind of going with the flow and taking it as it is and, and living in the now and being in the present, which is great. So maybe you're just really, really focusing on what's coming up for the month and you're not really looking too far ahead in the future. Maybe you don't know the direction that you're wanting to go in. Um, but whatever energy you're in at the moment, Virgo, it seems like a really positive energy of just bringing in lots of love and abundance and success. Um, and just a little reminder, just hang on in there because you are achieving it. You are working towards it. You made a big, big leap here in the recent weeks and months, moving forward in the right direction. But um, the future is yours to be written. So where we have the, um, you're writing your own rule book here, Virgo. So um, the future is yours to decide. So um, take that how it resonates with you. I hope those those messages came through clearly for you and that you were able to resonate with them a really nice positive reading i think virgo so i'm also going to zoom out and we'll take a look at some of the oracle cards as well for some additional messages okay here we are virgo so here is um your lovely board of charms and then we're going to go straight into choosing um a couple of cards here from this deck which is the secret language of color and i just love it i love all the different colors and all the different messages that it brings um and this is just giving us some messages of guidance for maybe how we can use colour to just change our mood and just to re-energise ourselves or to, to surround ourselves with lots of positive colours um, to bring about really good positive changes and relaxation. We can meditate with it, we can um, surround ourselves with this colour, all these colours in our home. Um, what, however you choose to bring colour into your life, um, it definitely, I've, I feel quite strongly that it can really change um, change your energy and uplift you and and help change your mood as well so um as i did last month as well i used this deck and i felt like we got some really good positive messages from it so i wanted to use it again so here we go let's pick a couple of messages oh sorry virgo please bear with me i'm just going to go and gather those all up i find this such a big deck to shuffle so i always really struggle please bear with me for a moment okay so right Let's try that again, shall we? So um, let's go for a couple of messages here for Virgo for August. How can we use colour in our daily lives to bring about some change? Let's see. Ooh. Oh, does that want to come out? Yes. We'll let that one... Um, come out there because it was balanced on the edge so we'll take that one as our first message 
and then I will cut the deck for another card for you. Okay, oh gosh. Can't juggle them all. Okay, what's going on? So let's take a look. This was the first one that kind of toppled out there. So this is Cyan. Okay, that's a lovely energy, um, a beautiful colour. It makes me feel very calm. I absolutely love all, um, all of the blues. Um, they just make me feel really calm and it's one of my favourite colours. So um, that's the message of build your confidence. Um, a couple of other signs have had this as well this month. So maybe this is just a month for you. Um, you do also have that highlighted here in your charms. Um, which is represented with the duck and the duck was the symbol of trusting your intuition and building your confidence so um, we're definitely seeing that reiterated here with the color of cyan um, it's just reminding you to because especially you're working towards um, creating that stability for yourself and you've made a big leap towards um, your, f your future and making some changes for yourself so in order to um, really trust yourself and listen to yourself um, about where you want your life to go and, and what's working for you, what's best for you and your life and your situation. Um, it does require a certain amount of confidence. So definitely just something for you to focus on this month. Just find an area that you're not feeling too confident about and just take some time to work on that, however that is for you. Um, just surround yourself with, with lots of love and happiness and, and really build up that self-confidence there, Virgo. So I always love that color there and then I also have azure which is protect yourself I don't see this one too often I love it though and that's more we're seeing more blues as well so lots of really calm energies but it's protect yourself that's interesting so what I'm going to do Virgo is actually refer to the book on this one okay so let's find the message for that card and it was 36 obviously i'll leave all the details um in the description box below of the decks that i'm using because i just absolutely love um, the messages that these cards bring okay so hopefully you can see that clearly and the message for this card reads azure purifies your aura and strengthens your connection to the divine leading you to discover your truth and empowering you to make important life choices immerse yourself with azure rays to protect yourself from negative dense energies and to find your center it says, breathe in azure rays of light to feel safe and secure, imagining an azure bubble of light that surrounds and protects you. Say, I ask divine healing light to surround me with love, peace and healing. Please bar any dense energy from entering my space and affecting me. Thank you. Do this for yourself and your loved ones whenever you would like some added protection okay oh my goodness I don't know much about this card at all um but I, I really think that's quite interesting oh sorry <laughs> sorry Virgo let me just try and focus you here without blinding you sorry okay um so a really interesting what really caught my attention was the first part here was um about strengthening your connection to divine and um, to discover your truth and empowering yourself to make important life choices i'm really really seeing that reflected in your reading here virgo so with the sheriff's badge it's really about being truthful with yourself about um being able to ask yourself where you want to go in life, what's the direction that you're working towards and to really empower yourself, to believe in yourself and have confidence to make those changes and to surround yourself with all of that protection from the divine um, so that you can really make those positive changes. So that was really interesting to read because that was... Um, not a card that I see too often so hopefully you were able to um, resonate with those messages they were really great and tied in really nicely to your charms I feel so let's just end the reading as I usually do with the Moonology Oracle cards here and this is just a small deck of Moonology cards and they always bring really good um, messages and just 
they summarise the reading really nicely, I always think, at the end. So um, I absolutely love this deck. It's one of my favourites. So let's get one final message for you there, Virgo. And, oops, oh, wow, fantastic. So this is a message that you were meant to hear. Let's have a look. Okay, oh, conclusions are within reach. Fantastic, okay, so for anyone um, needing to hear that, that's an interesting message. So I'm just being reminded, I just got a message um, that I was reminded that for anyone perhaps that is um, going through any legal issues here with the sheriff's badge, it's possibly related to that. So conclusions are within reach. So this may be a time of um, where perhaps it's coming to an end and you are starting to see results from that. So for some reason that was highlighted in my mind there that um, I was just needed to mention that for any of you that that may be relating to. Um, and for others, it's literally just about where we were looking at that, creating that stability and um, and being reminded just to hang on in there. It's that obviously you're doing, you're working in the right direction. You're working towards um, creating a really good life for yourself with lots of stability and empowering yourself here with the message of the azure light. Um, so it's yeah it's just about being confident in yourself trusting and having faith that those conclusions are within reach so whatever that may mean for you it may not resonate with everybody but I think that's a really good summary just to say that I'm um, just hang on in there because you've made some really good positive changes you've got a definitely a really good mindset um, of abundance and positivity and love and you're being very optimistic um, which I love so um, definitely just hang on in there and you are getting those answers and conclusions coming in for you. Okay, so have a great month, Virgo. And for any Virgos that are celebrating their birthday at the end of August, happy birthday to you. Um, and lots, lots of good positive energy coming for you there, Virgo. So hopefully you enjoyed that reading. Thank you as always for being here. Um, and I really hope you have a fantastic month in August. Sending love, light and blessings to you all.